uh, Dragonfly. Thanks for joining us, student. Thanks for requesting. Uh, what do we got? Miki Matsubara with the song Stay With Me. Apparently this is a club mix. All right, dude. So Miki Matsubara. Never heard of you before, so let's get acquainted. Thank you, Dragonfly. Tammy, I drink occasionally. It's okay. I can watch again later. Uh, yeah, you know, if you drink occasionally, that's, you know, it's fine. Everybody has a different tolerance, right? So, like, you do you. You know what's best for you. Personally, I have a very low tolerance. So, like, I end up drinking too much, and I just feel like crap the next day. And I just, I hate it. So, per it's a personal decision. I'm not judging anybody if you drink. You know yourself. So... Uh, yeah, dudes. So, Miki Matsubara. Yeah, like, a nice little buzz is great, right? Like, if I were to drink, it would probably just be, like, a nice little little thing. Like, I don't know if I can handle beers, dude. If you read her wiki, you might find her illness and death interesting. Oh, Oof. Uh, well, dude, uh, rest in peace, Miki. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's read, let's, re let's read about her before we, we jump in. Dude. Uh, so she, uh, died in 2004, okay. Uh, born 59... Died in 2004. She was 44. Okay. Uh, she was born in Kishiwada, Osaka, in Japan. Spent her childhood in Hiraoka town. Uh, she grew up in a family of four, including the father, mother, and young sister. Her father was a board member of a hospital, and her mother was a jazz singer who had sung with the Japanese jazz band and comedy group Crazy Cats. Um... Matsubara started learning the piano at the age of three and later became familiar with jazz. As a child, she went to Sakai City's Hiroka Elementary School and then in 72 entered Pool Gakuen Junior High School. Around this time, Matsubara became interested in rock music and joined the rock band Kure. In 75, she started in a Pool Gakuen High School and became active as a keyboard player in the band Yoshinoya Band. They would play songs at a live house called Taku Taku, located in Kyoto. Matsubara was described as an excellent student and was expected by many around her to attend college. But at that time, she had already made plans to pursue her dream of becoming a singer. In 1977, when she was still in high school, Matsubara went to Tokyo alone at the age of 17 to make her debut as a singer. The Japanese pianist Yuzuru Sera found her playing music and singing in various places in Kanto, such as the live music venue Birdland, located in Roppongi, Tokyo. Uh, all right, let's uh, skip a little ahead to the illness and death part. Um, at the end of 2000, Matsubara sent an email to her company. The members of Dr. Wu and others around her stating, Actually, I can no longer continue with my music for some reason. I am canceling my phone, cell phone, and email, so please do not reply. Please live your life without regrets. Uh, wow. Vague. She stopped all music activities and disappeared from the spotlight altogether. She burned all her cherished sheet music and records. Oh my god, why so dramatic? In an email sent to her cousin at the time, she wrote, Please forget all the times in the past when I was singing and composing. What the heck is happening, dude? Uh, in 2001, it was revealed that Matsubara's actions were prompted by a late-stage cancer diagnosis she had received at the time, after which she subsequently began treatment. Matsubara spent her final years battling her illness. After being told by her doctor that she only had three months to live, Matsubara died on October 7th, 2004. 
at the age 44 due to complications from uterine cervix cancer. Her death was announced to the public two months later. Oh, wow, dude. Oh, wow. Tragic. Tragic, dude. Okay, so it makes sense, dude. You know, I would be freaking out as well. Uh, damn, dude. It sounds like she didn't have, like, a lot of comfort with this at all. It seemed like it really threw everything for a loop. It destroyed everything that she was working towards. Uh, that is tragic. Tragic, dude. Over something you can't control, and I... Uh, damn. Yeah. Devastating. It would be devastating for anybody to have their life just not be in their control. You know, it, it's, a, it's one of the worst experiences I can even imagine. Dude, so... Wow, rest in peace, Miki Matsubara. Thank you, uh, Dragonfly, for getting us to uh, learn a bit more about her before we jump on in to this song you've given me. Uh, yo, LS, thank you for joining. Let me add you to the list here. All right, dudes, you're on the list. So uh, there's a few songs ahead of you, so... All right, dude. So, Miki Matsubara, this is a club mix. The song is Stay With Me. So, thank you again, Dragonfly. Rest in peace, Miki. I'm enjoying this so much. Oh my gosh. I know she said to just erase all of her compositions. I guess she didn't want anybody to to listen to her stuff, which is really sad, dude. What a beautiful voice. What a beautiful song this is. Gosh. I love this. The horns, the guitars, dude. Really popping out. I could easily dance to this. I could see my whole family dancing to this. Peaceful, I like that. That squid. You built the whole squid. Ding, 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 ding. All right, well, what do you think of this one, dude? Miki Matsubara, stay with me. Yeah. Let's keep it going. Yo, real quick, let me tell you about Patreon. Patreon.com slash John Slop. Early access to all these videos, full album reactions, full movie reactions. Think about that. Let's jump back into the reaction. <laughs>
<clears throat> Dude, that's some good stuff. Her voice is so powerful. I love it. Stay with me. Dude, the projection she has. And just the tone, too. It's like a little deeper than most would expect. This is such a good song. I want to listen to like a 10 hour version of this. <laughs> wow. There's something about this vibe, dude. This like 70s disco dance. Dude, this was this was really chill. Dude, Miki. I can just imagine her voice working with so many other songs too, like I can't wait to listen to more. Uh, like, wow. Wow. I can just imagine where she could have gone, dude. Rest in peace, Miki Matsubara. The song was Stay With Me. Uh, thank you so much, Dragonfly. Yeah, it's so tragic, too. She burned her cherished sheet music and records. I get it, you know, it's, it's, it's part of you. And when you're just, you just feel so, so slighted by life. It leaves you feeling bitter. I can only imagine. Uh, you have a documentary on her you've been meaning to watch. Ooh. I bet that's really good. Yeah, tell me about it, dude. After you watch it. What she did with her music before she died sounds like a more extreme version of what Zappa did, who also died of cancer. Yeah, you know, something about just your life being taken from you without your control uh, would leave a person feeling a certain, a certain way, especially a person who is trying to give their art to the world. And you're just like, well, it's coming to an end. Oh, gosh. Rest in peace to Frank as well. Thank you so much, Dragonfly. Really, really appreciate you, dude. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, dude, share your favorite Miki Matsubara track. And uh, just where do we go from here? Uh, and another note, I guess, just keep up with your checkups, guys. Never know when stuff like this is gonna hit and try and catch stuff before it gets worse it's all we can really do right